Caddis Maximus here, and look at this. Kana has a fluke. Ran into an old Pittsburgh 11 piece snap ring plier set. 11 pieces meaning you actually get eight sets of snap ring pliers. These are the sheet metal style, you know, threaded reversible for internal or external. A couple o ring picks, a 90 degree and a straight. And piece number 11 is the case itself. Harbor Freight has shamefully discontinued these. Now what they have is they have their Icon sets, which are pretty expensive. They also have a Quinn uh, interchangeable tip snap ring pliers, but they're not particularly great. The Icon ones are better, but they're way more expensive. And this is an example of Harbor Freight discontinuing their cheap Pittsburghs to prevent them from competing with the Icon sets, which not on sale for their 12-piece set. $150 on the website. Whatever happened to the $30 Pittsburgh set? As you can see here, somehow I ended up with an old set that, as far as I can tell, has never been used. So these are the sheet metal uh, snap ring pliers. Even the Icon ones, which could be a little bit better material, are still going to suffer from some of the issues that these can which is particularly stiff or rusted jam snap rings these little tines can bend and deflect usually it's not an issue if you're careful and making sure that you're working with the snap ring i don't want to say judiciously but making sure that you're nice and square when you're applying pressure to it making sure that's fully inserted of course, with these, what really wears out is the edges on these little pins. Fortunately, you can grind the pins down a couple of times, just like Torx bits, in order to get a fresh edge. But most times, people don't need, you know, aren't doing production. I you run into snap rings when I work on tools, and I tell you the truth, uh, a set like this would be uh, pretty optimal for just a lot of people, just because it's a simple set It when Harbor Freight had it was a pretty good deal and allowed you to work on most snap rings. These 90 degrees aren't really 90 degrees. They're like 75 degrees, which is kind of uh, an interesting idea. I guess that's just to provide a compromise between 90 or 45, which is kind of what the better ones do. And it should go without saying that on little ones such as this here. Actually, I think this little one may have been one of the ones that actually was used in this set. A lot of times the eyes of snap rings are kind of recessed, uh, slightly obfuscated by the groove that they're in, so you can't get the fully the right size pin. That's kind of what's nice about coming with picks is you can kind of break them loose or, you know, kind of get it dislodged a little bit. These are also great uh, for when you, the times where you can get the snap ring compressed, but the pliers want to slip out when you try to actually remove or lift the snap ring, so you can just compress it and then use the picks to actually uh, kind of help coerce it out of place and that's actually one of the things that's missing with all of the Harbor Freight's new expensive sets is uh, simple additions like this but I digress with the sharp tip one so many times the eyes are obfuscated sometimes some pretty large snap rings have slightly undersized eyes and that's really what ends up happening is on these tiny ones these are really four tiny snap rings, and people always end up, just because they're convenient, use them on too big of rings and end up bending or breaking the tips. And it's actually kind of interesting. Harbor Freight includes both the 36 and the 47 thousandths. Most times, they just include one or the other, so they're giving you two small sizes so you can actually get a have a better chance of not bending the tips and then using the tiny ones for truly tiny snap rings. Convenient in a case. And the few reviews that I found online, couldn't find any Harbor Freight's old listing. Actually, I should have went through the Wayback Machine, but they've had some bad press recently about some security issues, so I haven't been wanting to visit that site recently until they get that taken care of. But nonetheless, this was a, actually a pretty decent Harbor Freight tool set for what they were selling it for, which I think was right around 30 bucks. But now they've just eliminated it for much more expensive options. And it's one of the things that kind of has dis started to disappoint me about Harbor Freight is 
you know, they do have some items that are their cheap Warrior Pittsburgh items along with their more expensive stuff. But sneakily, more and more of those cheap items, such as this snap ring plier set, which is, would be great for most people, the higher grade, more professional grade icons, etc., or really when you're using snap ring pliers a lot. And this is just another example of not spending much money and being able to work on a nice variety of snap rings. And if you happen to run in, you know, are constantly working on a particular size of snap ring or running the one that's particularly difficult, then you can just go and buy one set of, you know, heavy duty interchangeable tip ones just for that one situation where the cheaper tools will get you through just about everything else and of course my argument is always having more variety is going to lead you to have more likelihood of success in your project rather than just having a few really nice tools i really love nice tools but usually it's better to have the variety and then high use items where the difference in price of a higher quality tool is going to make the difference is when you you know splurge for those tool truck brands etc icons so anyway, it's the end of my video. It's sad to see that Harbor Freight no longer sells these. And it's unbelievable that I ran into these at a garage sale. Actually, oh, I guess a week, 10 days ago, I did a review of uh, the first generation DeWalt's uh, professional electronic constant speed polisher. And this was the same, got this at the same sale as that. And it was some old lady, so I assume these were probably something that her husband had bought. Uh, probably just before he passed away, unfortunately, judging by the fact that they were really cheap and the set appears to be totally unused for a discontinued item. And in this situation, it's kind of handy to have them just like this because then you can drag it when you're working with snap rings, you can just drag this case around and be able to have just the right kind of plier. If you work with a lot of snap rings, you would have sets of these along with a whole lot of uh, other snap ring pliers just because snap rings end up in just some of the weirdest places. And I'll leave it at that. And they do have a little tray here area, which actually I kind of like because you can put a bunch of random snap rings there. And smartly, they actually put a, a plug or in a raised portion here on the case, which actually seals into the storage compartment to prevent the snap rings, the little snap rings from actually floating all over the case itself when you're carrying it around. So anyway, kind of a sad day that this, which is actually one of the better items from Harbor Freight, has now gone the way of the dodo. And to get something similar, you're going to be paying, you know, without a sale price, $75, I think, was the cheap of the forged um, icon ones. Even on sale, it's still a lot of money when kind of the point of Harbor Freight was exactly tools like this. Maybe not the highest grade steel, but more than enough for a lot of people and actually i'll get a lot of use out of these just because it's in a convenient set i don't have to go through digging through my drawer of tangled uh, snap ring pliers anyway thanks for watching